If you're asked to write the formula for beryllium phosphide, first you would write the element symbols. So beryllium, that's B-E, and then phosphide. This I-D-E means it's a single element, so it'll just be this phosphorus here. So once we have the symbols, beryllium, that's a metal phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. So this will be an ionic compound, and we need to take the charges into account. So let's look at the periodic table here. So beryllium, that's in group two, that's right here. So that'll have a two plus ionic charge. And then phosphorus right below nitrogen, three minus. So we have the ionic charges for each one of the elements. Beryllium phosphide, that's gonna be a neutral compound. The word ion doesn't follow the name here. So since it's neutral, that means these charges, they have to add up to zero. We need a net charge of zero. It's a little bit difficult. We have a two plus and a three minus. One way to do it is use the crisscross method. Move the two down here, the three over here, get rid of these symbols here. And this is the formula for beryllium phosphide, BE3P2. Let's check our work though. So we have beryllium, which we said was two plus, and phosphide, the phosphide ion, three minus. So three times two plus, that's six plus, two times three minus, six minus. So these two, they add up to zero, the net charge is zero, that's the correct formula. This is Dr. B with the formula for beryllium phosphide, BE3P2. Thanks for watching.